Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, this is a uh, quick look at one of the features that you'll have in 19H2 or version 1909 whenever it's released. The next version of Windows coming this fall has an improved version of your phone app. And one of the interesting aspects is phone screening. So as you see here, now there's a flashing issue that you see here, which is kind of weird, but uh, anyways, it works. So what you see here is actually my uh, phone screen. And uh, when you actually move from one place to the other, you see that I can actually uh, have that uh, screening. So it's kind of nice, kind of uh, cool to uh, check that out. And it works great. So uh, this is one of the things I kind of like. And of course, works in both modes of, um, you know, landscape or not and uh, I kinda like it it's a little sluggish as you see here it's not you know 100% perfect but honestly it isn't bad at all and for doing stuff it's actually nice and what is even more interesting is that when you look at things like this is that you have the ability to click an email for example and actually have it uh, displayed on your computer so you can actually um, really interact with your phone you can actually do what you wish on your phone um, using the uh, the app and that is really nice actually it also lets you pick up phone calls answer phone calls from here and it is kind of fun I, I, I honestly uh, find it quite interesting and uh, basically, it's uh, cool to be uh, using this. The uh, down point to it is that I had a hard time connecting the Bluetooth so that it actually did connect my phone to do the, you know, the, the screen, uh, the, the, the phone screen uh, mirroring. But uh, once it did, actually, it worked great. I kind of like that. Of course, you have more indications. So you have, uh, of course, your notifications from your phone will show up on your desktop. You got your messages, so SMS or text messages will show up. Of course, you got access to all your pictures or photos of the latest pictures that you uh, have taken. So you can take, uh, click there, have your recent photos show up on your PC uh, screen, which is kind of nice, as you see here. And uh, of course, you have access to the battery information on the upper right of the uh, panel on the left side here you see your uh, background um, wallpaper on your phone also it's kind of nice um, honestly it's cool to have that interaction on your phone but like I said it's a little sluggish by moment you need to have the latest Bluetooth enabled devices that have uh, what they call low power mode and uh, as you see here it's still a little buggy, so probably there'll be an update that make it work better. But it's really, really cool to be able to do this uh, with the PC and an Android phone. Unfortunately, that feature cannot work on iPhones for a simple reason, is that on iPhones, the control that Apple has over the phone is just too intense, so you can't really... Um, you can't really uh, do the the phone mirroring stuff and and uh, unless you know they're Apple devices. So it's kind of cool your phone app will have phone screen mirroring, it will have call capability, it will have text message. This all, all already works even in uh, 1809. I've been using uh, text messaging answers through my PC which is very nice without picking my phone I answered through the PC. And of course the uh, easy way of getting pictures or photos from your phone is uh, very very nice so uh, this is cool and this is one of the apps your phone app that is uh, working great in uh, the next version of Windows coming in in a few days or a few weeks from now if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching